Okay, so today I'm going to be working on redoing the Windows subsystem. Uh, because it's still, it's very basic, it's kind of terrible, it doesn't really handle errors at all. It, at all. It's just got a boolean whether you created a window or not. If this fails, there's no out. If this fails, there's no out. If any of these fails, there's no out. And yeah, it's based on a, a single window here as well as it's all based on GLFW, so I can't have other sub backends for this. I can do better, so I am going to do better. Let me just adjust the volume a little bit down a bit. Okay. <clears throat> so, first part will be example, include, hmm, this will be the interface side. So I need a another directory for these new ones. So I'll need to, for W side, I use GLFW right now. Like that. There is TXT, great. Put that off to the side. We got that. Um, I have a window. Let's see, uh, no, 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 no. I need a directory. And that, this, uh, actually, we can say specifically it's GLFW3. That, 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 and that. And that. No examples yet, there's no test yet. Window GLFW. We'll also rename this three. Out of the way, thank you. Um Vulcan GLFW. We're going to reuse that still. But it's going to be WSI slash export now. Moving forward. So I'm going to start using a WSI subdirectory in here to specify things. And we're going to have a window for HPP uh, because I'm going to be using error codes moving forward, I believe. Right now it's just returning a boolean. We can do better than that. I'd also need error code dot H. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need a whole bunch of things. Close that up. Close that up. Close that up for the moment. First things first. We're going to put this. This will be 2021. This is easy to do. C++ stuff. Enum for WSI results. And equals zero, as usual, for WSI backend uh, error. Do I have, I don't have the GitHub Copilot installed. Where the hell did this come from? Okay. Okay. Fine. I guess. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that would be a result. Uh, and on this side, we need
stuff, or rather just this stuff. So PSI, error code, system error, PSI, result. Um, did I not? Where did I put this stuff then? I thought I put this stuff in here. Oh, there it is. Uh, fo WSI. It's going to be using that. Okay, and then I need the photo WSI uh, error code. Just this stuff again. Error code stuff. Uh, that's. Not quite. Uh, this is not using a very good version of the error code. This should have it, right? No, this doesn't have it either. Does anyone have the one with it defines? No, come on. Did I, did I just not? There we go. I've got all that. Okay, window is going to be very similar to this. Close that, close that, bring up window, move it to the side. In fact, it's probably so similar, I'll just say it's 2021. Probably split up keyboard and mouse. These will be new. Okay, from here, we've got keyboard for the moment, which includes C standard int and a set. 
Same thing for mouse. Okay, uh, then we got a include foe handle. I probably don't even bring in foe at all here. So now we do. That gives us access to the handle. We'll have to do, uh, handle, define foe handle. I need something with a handle. Give me a handle. Thank you. And then we're going to have start having these functions down here. So we've got create and destroy window. That's fine. this up to that because at the moment it's going to be that okay we'll get let's get this uh, going first then and we need to auto standard error code Going down here, we got window. Got an empty namespace for stuff, which is going to include primarily the struct for foe WSI window. DOFW, which is effectively going to be these items here. Create and destruction of windows. Don't have 
these things quite yet. So uh, this is no longer a thing that exists, and we but we do have if not that if this fails, I believe this returns like a true false. Okay. got this stuff we'll have p okay um new window here it's empty to set that we've got to go to a create fail at the end window or WSIFO WSI window that 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 okay oh I need to define handle cast from window to fo WSI window to FW to set error code to something and then go to so error code equals new error code for do that If error code, then we gotta go to foe to side error. Uh, destroy window to be window to handle. Um, otherwise, read set p new uh, window p. Um, Okay, how is that not going to compile? Very easily, I believe. Bunch of other stuff. Oh, it's just going to work? Do I just... I don't, that's why. There we go.
Okay. Mm, okay. Oh, I don't specify the export name. It needs to be very specific. Um, export macro name. Ooh, oh, wrong one. Here. Okay. So the rest of this stuff would basically be the same. That's, yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh no no, this would actually make sense. I can pass the I can pass the correct pointer from this object in. So it would still would be yeah. So we got that. I'm gonna say, hey, window pre-processing, wherever the hell this is. I'm gonna set a bunch of items in. Key callback will be that. Ooh. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Okay. This is a uh, this is a bit of fun stuff. I'm not using the windows like at all here. So, what I imagine, what I believe I can probably do is I'll, <laughs> I'm going to do some very funky business here. Is it is just a pointer. I can actually give a pointer to something else entirely. Right, does key callback have to be, it probably does, doesn't it? Um, this is for, uh, this is going back to the keyboard, right? Key callback, okay. And it just takes in the faux keyboard. Okay, I need to copy these over to here. I need keyboard. And mouse.
Okay. Okay. So this is uh these are going into like the local keyboard mouse. Things. This I'm surprised it's not complaining about like multiple things. So what I'm going to say is, this is going to take in I need auto star P WSI window equals reinterpret cast of uh, to fo wsi window gofw pet of p window and then I need to pass in uh, p that to keyboard okay uh, fun fun stuff very persnickety stuff But it will basically be the address plus offset every time. Uh, it's not going to be just a given straight up. Yeah. That's a bit unfortunate. Extra, extra redirect. Not great, but that's the price I'm going to have to pay if I want to make this usable for more than a single window. It was going to have to happen. This is going to have to be changed for that as well. And then here, in order to get it to go in there, I'm going to have to call... Oh no, 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 that's not going to work at all. That's not going to work at all. This is... No. Hmm. Dang. This is not designed for more than one window either. Or not easily. Hmm. Time to document. Okay, okay, this is, I am saved, I am saved. There is specifically in here, setting and getting of a user data. So I can act, okay, I can still do this. I can still save myself here. So P window, and what's going to happen is, P window blah 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 reinterpret cast. It's not going to be reinterpret cast anymore. It's going to be so we're going to get P window WSI window. So I need to when I do this, I need to set the user data. that so it's a p new window p window and we're going to be giving it p new window so this will still be the same gfw that okay and back here we're going to be getting it so it equals Static cast, that, that, 
that, that, that, that. T window. It's going to be GFW get window user pointer that. Okay. Okay, nice. So that is still makes it fairly good, fairly easy, fairly nice. And do we have to do anything there? Not really. So now we start moving on and adding these other extra functions. So WSI, window, do not blame. Why do I keep hitting blame? basically copy paste it's going to happen it's going to be adding this to the beginning of them all so we've got that 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 hide and show that and that I need mouse and keyboard and I need to add the prefix actually need to reorganize them just a little bit so we've got WSI window event processing keyboard pre-processing for full WSI window, window so we've got to grab the window data Fence. Oh, we got to do it for all of them. Okay. Um, hmm. <sighs> I can't do it for just a single window. This is goes th for all windows. I'd need to know all windows to do this effectively. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do is, for the moment, since this is very GLFW specific to how this was going to have to work, I'm going to have to have like a separate uh, include event processing loop that's going to be specific to GLFW for the moment. So include, so, WSI, 
UFW3. Um, window, I guess. going to be Just save that P window. It's going to be separate. Uh, GLFW three. This is not going to be working like this at all. We're going to have to go through like a, we're going to have to have a list to go through the, all of them before I can do this the way I want. And then in other backends, I'll fix it up if I ever get around to it for multi-window stuff. So that goes away. So it does mean I'm going to need like um, I need like a new text. I need to include. Mm. This also means that all windows will have to be checked every round. Standard mutex, we're going to have a standard mutex, and it's going to be like um, window sync. It's going to be the list of these. Window list. What's going to happen is we're going to have like the window sync where we're just going to lock it up. And then we're going to have to go through like four auto and window. P window, go through window list. Go through all of them like that, and then do the, the polling events like that. And then on the create and destruction, okay, on create, if it was successful, we need to do that and then we need to this then on the other side we need to go through we need to don't destroy it until we've removed it from the list already so window sync dot lock
if star iterator equals p window, then and break out. We are of course assuming it's a real window that was only created through this. If it's not, then we're going to have way worse things going on in a moment anyways. Okay. That that, that, that. Okay, I need to include for the local stuff. Okay, 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 okay. This is looking pretty okay. Now I need to actually add up or add in a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna change these things around just for preferences. Because I can. You can't stop me. No, 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 I'll, I'll move it. Ah, uh, not that, it's faux mouse. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, okay, keyboard is first. Did I just do them always in the opposite order? Keyboard or mouse, yeah. Q. 
keyboard and mouse. Okay, okay. So going down here, it's not WSI, it's WSI JFW3. Let's uh, actually try to get this into place. So what we're going to have is, oh, I also need the Vulcan stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have the if and def for this stuff. We got that. We're going to go down here. We got the Vulcan in here. That could be just C, realistically. I'm sorry, where is this defined? Oh, it's in window. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this will actually be a new file. Almost a new file. Mm hmm. Oh no, this is just a C file, so I don't even need this. P window. Mm hmm. Oh my, 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 my. Yeah, this isn't quite going to work in C style quite yet. Actually, this won't even operate separately, anyways. Unless. I was to split that out. Window. Okay, yes, I can actually. I really want to get more and more. I don't know what's happening. I'm slowly regressing from object oriented slowly backwards into the CU world. And I'm all right with it. So, what's happening? This is. Yeah, okay, no, it's not going to happen because it's got that stuff. HPP, HPP, HPP. This is a HPP file, and so will Vulcan be HPP or CPP. But I will at least shift this out. These items, like that.
Got that. We've got the mouse and keyboard here. Get the string here. So that basically resolves all of those items. That remains in here. Okay, in here we're going to include that and we include this. And these are going to be taking in this okay this is just an H C P P IHP P file okay just make it easier on myself that wasn't going to happen wah wah Okay, and we go back down to Vulcan side. Instance P window. Okay, we don't actually, we don't need it for the first thing, but we do need it for the second thing. P window, P window. Okay. We can have the Vulcan stuff. If I, I don't compile it yet, do I? Okay, going down to Application Town. We are going to have a good old include oh, WSI window like to be fantastic. We are going to. Why was what WSI even in here? I'd have no idea. Interesting. I mean, there's no actual variable for it oh, until now. Why is this out here? Move this over, please. That'll be inside of there. Ah, graphics runtime may use it.
-hmm. Okay, uh, so that's that. We go back to this side. We'll close others. Close others for the moment. Let's uh, get the window stuff. So what's happening here? We don't need... Do we need GLSW3? Probably do for the moment. Create window. Uh, we're doing something else. We'll full create window. And okay, so... Error code equals that and window. If error code. I need to know about mice and keyboard. That's also WSI GLFW3, not specific to the window. And one more here. Moment of oh, truth. A uh, whole bunch of failures. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Window show, resize, get should close, get mouse, get the what? I didn't add a WSI to this, did I? W, okay, yeah. Okay, the things we are mostly grabbing from here and defining are these. So they are up at the top. We're defining functions for these. These are support items we're bringing in from elsewhere. And let's see how badly this works. Oh, I still have XR, right? Nope. 
We've got something else going on. Nice. Okay. Faux window, get VK surface. Interesting. WSI Vulcan should not be here anymore. There should be an error somewhere in here. WSI window. Window that. Or is it the other way around? WSI, WSI, need to go down, get the Vulcan ones. WSI and WSI. Oh, I need to do a, possibly an error code for this as well. Uh, did I? I'm pretty sure I may or may not have actually turned it. Oh, okay, XR is off right now, so that's good. We're just doing window stuff. Okay. Nice. Good. Great. So that should mean this is no longer used. This is no longer used. These are no longer used. So this should basically become an empty... Uh, interface library for the moment. Do, 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 do. Up, get out of here. Don't use GLFW here anymore. Get rid of it. We do pull in Vulcan still. Cancel those for the moment. Mm -hmm. Can only be used with libraries. So I, I mean, yeah, okay, I, I guess. Here and there. Okay. Either change this up. So this actually needs to return like system error. So a good thing I didn't actually convert it to uh, just a plain old C header.
Mhm. Let's go around to this side. Code WSI error, fail to initialize backend. Uh, if not that, then we have to say, you know, return code WSI error. I can probably have an error code like that. That makes sense. Vulcan not supported. Add that to here. We need to include error code. So is this like a triple PPP equals that? Equals that, okay. Oh boy, this is, that's fun. Okay, then we go back to where we're doing the graphic stuff. If error code, return error code. Okay. I don't actually have another thing around. Yeah. I probably sh should do the same thing around here. Instead of XR result, return error code and Well, that's actually pretty much halfway there already. If our XR is not equal to that, then return this. Otherwise, just carry on with normal stuff, normal operations. Okay. So 
does all that work. Seemingly it does. So it just leaves, how does this example work? Simple. Um, Paste it here. Example, and then we have test. Where we just kind of so just move, just move it, move the whole directory. Yes. So delete that. And delete that. We don't actually have these anymore. Go back down here, re add these. I'll need to make sure I build everything. Okay, so these have been. Processing, close that up, WSI, WSI, WSI. Oh, this is just keyboard stuff. Okay. So that's just converting over a single window. Next, I'll try to do two windows at once and see how terribly that works. After I figure out a message and do some other quick, busy work. All right, so with uh, that, Windows kind of reworked a little bit. Now I need to actually go through with the rendering loop and figure and uh, reworking that to be a bit more <clears throat> sensible. So first things first, I want to change up. Okay, right now, this is a little bit off. I need to wait, I'm waiting for the fences, okay. I want to change it to be like this, equals BK success. 
And instead, we're going to be doing some something like this. We're going to be changing. OK, this is frame index. That is used for everything. I don't really need it. Whoop. Don't need it there. What I'm going to do GT frame index equals negative one, and we have a last frame index. Because what's going to happen is I want to be able to skip out if this succeeds, but we fail to get an XR or a window or anything to render to, then we skip and come back through. But I don't want to go to the next frame of that next frame, which we did not submit. So if frame index is negative one, then we go through the process of finding, you know, do we of this. And if we found one, then frame index equals next frame index. And that would then, that was that. Then we have like if frame index negative one. Then we go into that. Uh, that's last frame index now. And at the end of the rendering area, which would be this one, the blue one, the blue one, we'll say, okay, last frame index equals frame index, and frame index equals negative one. So we've reset for the next one. That does leave some of these things in here. That and that. Okay. I don't know why is Clang be just broken again? Looks like it is. Zero point four. Okay, that's is that slower? Is it significantly slower? So stash all that, rerun it. That's no, about the same. Okay. So we've acquired a new frame. We reset the frame data, which would be, and then we'd also advance. Uh, so running the, the the delayed destructor, reset the frame fences, frame time, new frame time. Okay, I'm not sure about that. At least these. And. Graphics maintenance, yeah. We won't acquire the next render target yet. And we reset the command pool. We don't process cameras. Hmm. Reset the frame data.
time index equals that. So we don't accidentally rerun this multiple times. We just do it once per frame every time. I don't accidentally run that more than I should. That's good. That's good. Leave. If frame index not equal one, then we're going to be going into here. Without that stuff, let's make sure that's not screwing up. Do I have? I'm pretty sure I do have validation on. Yes. Okay, so at this point, I don't want to build swap chains yet. I want to determine, first of all, if, hmm. First of all, we have XR. We need to limit ourselves by XR. If, because XR is actually a blocking type. And that's what really matters here. Rendering to open XR, which is the most important. Okay, okay, and if we have a session, then standard. Um, results XR res then I do locking stuff here but I'm not quite going to do that right now because I don't have headset available but Okay, then we, we got to move on to the stuff of the windows, which is acquiring images, if we can. Or would we acquire images or we try to rebuild if we, if we need to? We'd have to iterate through them. Okay. Window is currently this. Window is currently like a, sec, a, a disparate number of items. So I need to kind of like collect them together. And then I put them in an array. Itself. We have surface and swap chain.
we'd have the color format that goes with the surface. I presume that's what I, this is about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Again, I could have, okay. Let's see if I can remove the color format and just instead do this, this, and then the other location down here. And I don't actually need format in here if I can just get it from the swap chain. So get rid of that. to the just acquire it from there. Okay. Um, I'm going to then do this stage and put this in so I don't lose it. This stuff. Just this down to about there. Not adding the XR support stuff. Don't need it there. That, 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 and that. And this. will not be considered used until actual used for rendering.
graphics. Maintenance two. Now we're just, we've got that. All right, I was doing the window data stuff now. So uh, I, yeah, <clears throat> I got that. There'll be a frame timer that goes with each window. And there'll also be one that locks to the XR in the future. So what's going to happen is we're going to have like four each window data. If no, if um, then just continue. Check if you need to rebuild the swap chain. If that. Then we need to acquire the size of it. Hmm. Not entirely sure how to do this. Keep that out for the moment. Or would I? Attached cameras? I may have to do something like that. I may need something like um, something like that, but not quite yet. So skipping that, um, I need to so I need the surface formats and stuff.
what's going on here. If there's no swap chain, then I create it. Okay. Great. Otherwise, I'm updating the extent. I do that. Okay, I'm just updating it. And that does the rebuild. Does it? Or no, it'd be when it acquires a next. Then it would determine if I need to rebuild. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay, if that, then we get to the rest of the stuff. Uh, we did create off screen spec. Actually, that'd be part of this. So I need that <clears throat> for the moment. Error code, do I not have error code? make a global one All right. uh, traffic session delay destructor do 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 IT dot that That's if we needed a new swap chain. Because we created a window. Then I need to go into
basically do this. Only set it to be destroyed after we've set that. We've got that. IT.swapchain equals new swap chain. And then we need to update the graphics, the render target extent. I don't actually need to do this, do I? Because I'll have I'll have the width and height from somewhere else. from up here. Now, what do I use this for? If rebuilt, then I need new frame buffers. Okay, is that it? Why back here? Why? I could just put it up here. Why do I have why do I have it down here? Do I use swap chain I don't use swap image frame buffers anywhere else, just here. And up here when I destroy them. So why are they down here? And these are swap image frame buffers. Mm -hmm. Which I use down here. So these are window specific as well. Right? So what's happening? Swap image frame buffers replace swap image render pass. Because I'm rendering stuff to the end and put in, and slapping the UI on it. That's why. That's the only reason this exists. Because at at this point, I would have already copied the image or resolved the image to this off-screen render, uh, this swap image, and then I wanna. Render just the UI on top of it. Render pass, UI, leave. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Quick drink break. All right. Regardless, if I'm just... Uh, I'll... Uh, I'm still going to want to keep these things around. So, I do want to have a set of... I don't know how many... Swap, what's swap image buffers? It's a vector... I don't need that if I move these in here, so. Okay. So that's something we want to do. We got this. Okay. 
update frame buffers. So we go down to, this is right about here. First things first. If swap image, um, If not that, then we want to do go through the delay destruction of them. So frame buffers copy equals this stuff. Amazing. Let's shorten it down to just swap frame buffers. That that that. Um, if I clear it, then I might as well just like standard move, right? So then this will be empty then, then anyway. So I just gotta. I already have width, I already have height. View, VK image view. What does this do? Attachment count, attachments. Just the one. Okay, yeah, yeah. I need a local VK image view. Uh, swap chain extent I already have. I need the frame buffer stuff. So that's width and that's height. Swap image render pass. Oh man, I need that too. Where do I get this from? Who knows? Based on the format of the swap chain surface format. Render pass for this. Mm. That's why it's down here. That's a, that'll also be the same thing for the frame buffers. I have it down there because I don't know what I'm using it, it with. So it doesn't really apply to this, but what could apply, render target still does apply. Frame target is I'd still have to say something like, you know, um, So then I would actually want to have like an iterator for
Okay, this is not great. I don't like this. Okay, at this point I should, okay, make sure this works. Right, it's not gonna explode because I've done something horrible. Good, 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 good. So with this in the place it is, so this would rebuild swap chains, but this would not acquire images. I need to kind of put this into a separate function elsewhere and just call it rather than having it in line here. Swap frame buffers, yeah, get rid of that. Render target though, that does make sense in this context for now. Hmm. Okay, this is where we get some fun, more fun stuff. False frame time, that's a reset thing. We're just gonna create windows. Also going to have destruction somewhere down here. This can probably be one of the last things that happens after we destroy all this stuff. We got that. Then up here, we're going to have down here window logging, just creating surfaces. Sorry, what's that? That window surfaces, right. 
Creating graphic session with Windows surfaces. Why? What's going on with Windows surfaces? Determine physical device for these. Hmm. For the moment, I want to make sure they're all usable on the same device, so I need to actually collect these. Insert at surfaces dot end. Um, <laughs> I can't really do that. moving it because we're not keeping it. Okay, uh, we go to window. There's nothing else really here. So we have to go all the way back here. Window surface. Destruction of salt chains and stuff. Realistically, UI rendering, it might happen on the surf on the uh, swap image. It might not. It really depends on if you want to use MSAA for that or have that available or not, or have it in the world or not. Like there's so many. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can do this as is right now. Because I do have creation, I do have destruction, and I do have the rebuilding of the swap chains and some associated stuff, even if I'm not using them yet. So let's see how that works. Here we go. Interesting, interesting. We do have one. P create info surface is not known to be supported for the presentation by this device. Physical device surface support must be called before oh, this thing.
Is that it? It's just from this one? Hmm. Okay, surfaces, size, data. I'm gonna change that up to be not just a single one, but a but the set. Surface count and surfaces. Okay, we've got to go through each of these. if the physical device we've chosen supports all these things. Like what's going on? We're going through the physical devices. And we're just trying to determine UK physical device. Okay. I need, I need, I would need like a matrix. To make sure the window is supported on all of them. Vector, vector, support window. Okay, hold on. So we'd have to wrap this in another for loop. This turns into J. as is tradition for this index. Inside another.
if this surface, then it becomes that. Okay, I need to think for a moment for this one. Okay, uh, it's not, okay, it's gonna be a mixture of this. It's physical device count times the surface count. It's gotta be. So the surface, yeah, it doesn't really matter. That times that, that's how it goes. And then it's, we have the surface index. We go for the surface. We say the un 32 t or size t offset equals index times surface count or would it be that or times physical count it'd be times that so then this actually no it wouldn't even matter here would it it would not but that's the size of it. Mm, okay. Okay, I'm kind of halfway there. Physical devices, we're getting we're checking the physical device on a per Q basis. Okay, let me reset this file. Um, or at least reset this part. This was on the surface. So this was doing P surface is zero effectively. So it's going through each Q on the physical device. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of still true. What I want to do is, I don't want to do that, but I want to do supports window. We're reserving that size instead. So it's that times surface count. That's how many we're going to do. Then we need to There we go, that'll work. To J. One, two, six. Okay. We're going to have a four around the original. Got to go through all those. Got to go through all the surfaces that we're doing.
We want to equals uh, p surfaces for i. Okay, that's what's going here. going to do is VK bool 32 equals VK false. Okay. And then we're going to go through and see if we can get it. And then we're going to put the result onto the end. So at the end, supports window in place back supported right did this work if it was yeah if it was oh my god down here as well um because it was split by gpu count okay third time's the charm We still want to go through the physical devices, yes, and we want the support window to be mapped to the physical devices. What we want to do is inside, okay, perhaps we do it on the inside here. This is where, so, for the physical device, then we go through all the surfaces and see if we can get a supported window for all of them on that physical device. Or, you know what, I just don't care. No, I do care. Damn it. Just pick the first one, okay? Sorry, what the hell is going on here? What is this? If surface was null. What? Um, first try to one that supports both OpenXR. Oh yeah, yeah, if this is null. Okay, if. Or 
if surface count is that, okay, and I'm just going to deal with the fact that I'm going to not really be checking all the all the windows worth of uh, things. Okay. So we're still at this point. We were adding one extra window. Yeah, we were adding one window via that. We we're doing all the build and swap chain stuff based off of that. So what I want to do is switch over this stuff down here. Wherever like window by itself is. Or yeah, down here, swap chain rebuilt. Now, it's not going to be this specifically, but it's going to be part of this. Look, what I want to do is I want to compare these things. I don't want to do swap chain rebuilt. That's not really great. What I want to do is DK surface or swap. Chain. What I want to do is I want to compare if the swap chain has been changed. And then instead of having a swap chain rebuilt, I just compare, like, is this a still the same swap chain? So first of all, actually, we're going to do this. If um, where window, OK, swap chain equals built not equal. Off swap chain, which is going to be VK null handle to start with. Then we do this stuff, All right? And then I want at the end of this equals swap chain. Because that's basically going to, I mean, that could be like an 8 or a 16, but like that's a 60, yeah, that's a hit I can probably take, I'm willing to take. Okay, great. Get rid of this. Go back here. Get rid of this. We don't have to do that anymore. One less variable to have to needlessly operate on. That's always a good thing, right? I mean, if, as long as it allows me to do this stuff, I'll be happy. Which it does. Perfect. So, application, this. This is kind of an intermediate step. So we don't, not quite this.
gets me a little bit closer every single little time. Do, 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 do. Here? No. Here. Instead of having an explicit boolean, Okay, uh, if that's the case, then this is entirely dependent on the camera. I'm not really comfortable with doing this quite yet, or am I? No, I'll just do it here anyways. So what I want to do is I just want to swap everything over to using that instead. So where was swapped buffers? Okay, we're going to just kill off this swap chain. Okay, we're going to put all this away. Do, 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 down to about here. Get rid of the whoa. Also mean that this is going away as well. Oh boy. Yes. Classic. Just real epic failures. We're gonna push we're not gonna push these back anymore. We don't have that. We'll put it away for the moment. Next is this window content scale for window zero. This, I'm going to try to based off of 
that. If it dot not equal to no handle, then we run this. so that we get updated numbers. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Okay, this is something that needs to be modified as well, actually, right here. If that for iterator dot window, I say iterator dot swap chain dot request rebuild. We'd also want to do the same thing down when we are acquiring the image. Okay, here we go. If suboptimal, we want to say data zero dot swap chain dot re need rebuild. So next time through, it'll do that. And same thing here, especially. Oh, oh, zero. things. So image. The current index. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. I gotta read that's gonna be going away real soon. What am I doing? Okay. No, not this. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, let's see how bad. Okay, okay, interesting. Ba bam, bam. Gone. When you have the one window, I move it around. I can change it up. Oh, seg fault. I have a reference to something somewhere. Right here, right here. What? It is correct. Image memory barrier between here and here. Interesting. Uh, swap these guys out of here. Interesting. Interesting. Not great. Not good at all. Something somewhere's going wrong. Okay, so what we got? Window data zero. Element zero. We got a window. We got a swap chain. Okay, swap chain. Images. We got one, two, three, three images. Okay. We got a seg fault. Why? Is the acquired index? What's the acquired index? Surface format. Okay, here we go. The acquired index is not real. Okay. What's going on down here? Going way back here. I had to go back. Wait, hold on. What the happens in need rebuild? I just it's just a boolean. Okay. It 
he could raise his timeout or not ready or skip skip the only reason it will be here is if it's doing a suboptimal or success suboptimal is workable Okay, M acquired index becomes this. Yeah. Required index is incorrect. How on earth did this happen? Why? Do I have the last? I don't. And it doesn't need a rebuild either. So did it, was it just rebuilt? If it's just rebuilt. Hold on. If it's rebuilt here. Then it will do this. New swap chain, new whatever. And then this will be the acquire image on the next one, right? This should be right. Okay. If we're here and This should never happen. Uh, swap chain. This should never happen as well. And yet presumably it is. Okay. Settings for first format. Okay, let's swap this back then. Is this it? I'm hoping to God it is it. And I uh, just kind of screwing something up there or... Because if not, then it's something else somewhere that I completely missed. Stash it. Stash all this stuff. Okay. Where is the acquiring image stuff? 
Looking for fences, frame index, frame, here we go. Okay, okay, I've, I've, I, I somehow managed to mess it up. Okay, if I if I come back to here, what is the VK res? Show me what the VK res is. The only reason VK res will be success should be because Okay, we're there. We can It's suboptimal. Okay. So that still means it should be doable, right? No, it's... What's going on? What is going on? So what chain? Here we are. This is it. Or res. I guess suboptimal is just not a case I bothered with before ever at all. Wait, what? No. No, 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 no. That doesn't make any sense. Because then suboptimal would have done the exact same thing. It should have been doing the exact same thing. Suboptimal would have gone here and then it would have carried on. But then this would have been set as or kept as UN32 anyways, right? It should be possible, but it's just not happening. Why? Okay, I'm, there must be something else going on. Like I've changed up a pattern somehow that unlocks this bug. But whatever, this is a bug. Equals um, BK suboptimal. Maybe up here, some down here somewhere. That's not what I wanted to click at all. Okay. Okay. So it was just...
is also successful acquisition. Okay. So we got that. Fix that. Now back up to here. What was I was going to like um, window data zero dot swap chain. Do that here. And we do that here. So we no longer, yeah, we do that and that. So I don't, I should really still keep this though. What the hell's going on here? down to here um, uh, all right all right all right all right what's going what's There's so much going on. Okay, what's going on? This was that by itself. And this went on. Okay, this went on down to here. Okay, that's why. So, yes. Get rid of that. That becomes this. Close that. Uh, close that one, but keep this one. stuff Let's do a second window while we're here. Just, we're still using the first window for everything, but if we have a second window. good so that content scale for the moment down here on destruction get rid of these guys and those stuff here
code coverage. Let's do address. Just in case there's any stuff. But if this is a good point, then I'll lock this part in and move on to the next. I'll put into another session because this has been going on way long enough. Oh boy, there's a lot of extra stuff. That's not good. Uh, 272 bytes from somewhere. And I don't know where. That's not good. That's not good at all. Unless that's something to do with GLFW. That might be. Uh, okay. Get stash. Let's redo this and do it with the original window and see if the same thing occurs. Oh crap, yeah, I, I ran that instead of uh, what I should have been doing, which is that one. Okay, so it was happening regardless. I mean, that's not good, but it's good. It's not uh, from my changes here. But that's something I'm going to have to look at. I'm going to have to build a debug version of I mean, with window changing stuff, I'm... Like, what is this unknown module? Thanks, unknown module. I mean, it's not like... Uh... I'm on debug and I'm on the address. That's it. So it must be some, it's some released compiled other binary that I'm loading in. And I'm going to probably bet that this is probably GLFW. Like that's a lot of 316 kilobytes right there. With a bunch of more smaller ones. What precisely is it? Because I'm destroying the surfaces, right? Am I? Hold on. I'm destroying surfaces, right? Right? Even though I'm acquiring the surface from somewhere else. Yeah, I'm destroying the swap chain, I'm destroying the surface. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that's a question. What happens? Okay, right now, I, I, I know it's going to break. I just want to see what happens if I actually, because P camera data is going to be on whatever the last one was modified. 
So if I modify the second window, what happens to the primary window? Like the, the UI for that stuff. I'm very intrigued. Ooh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all happens. That's boring. Boring. Do I not generate a swap chain for it? Is that what's going on? No, I do. I have. And I, I do keep doing it over and over. Hmm. Go to here. I need to restart so I can actually get the uh, Clang D back. Now that I've fixed all the cr compi uh, Clang crashing code. Okay, error code, stuff, stuff, stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do I need to modify graphics HPP for this? What's going on? Oh, no, no, it's just internal, right. Okay, that's done. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it there and I'm going to do a lot more of the uh, stuff. Whoop. I'm going to do a lot more of the interesting logic changes to how the loop works next time. Cheers.